officers. West Valley Patrol Division officers responded to an assault with a deadly weapon suspect radio call and an additional ambulance battery investigation call that occurred as a result of a suspect who was assaulting community members with a metal pipe in the 5600 block of Reseda Boulevard. That suspect was later identified as Jessica Brown. When the officers arrived in the area, they met with the second victim who was being treated by paramedics. Shortly thereafter, they located a third and fourth victim who provided Brown's description and last known location. The officers began their search for Brown and located her in the parking lot of a nearby business in the 18,500 block of Burbank Boulevard. Brown was armed with a metal bar. The officers immediately requested the assistance of additional officers. The officers contacted Brown and gave her repeated verbal commands to drop the metal bar. Brown did not comply with the officers' commands and immediately began walking toward them while holding the metal bar. Despite the officers making repeated attempts to have Brown drop the metal bar she was holding, she continued to advance towards the officers. One officer then fired a 40 millimeter less lethal launcher foam projectile round at Brown. However, the foam round did not deter her from advancing. Brown then raised the metal bar above her head and attempted to strike an officer, resulting in an officer-involved shooting and the simultaneous deployment of a taser. Brown was struck by gunfire, fell to the ground, and was subsequently taken into custody without further incident. A portion of this incident was captured on video from several nearby security cameras. <laughs> A portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's body-worn video. Here is body-worn body video from the officers involved in this incident. Hello. Did you call? I know, I know you guys are here for a different call. What's up? I, I, I'm assuming, but something else just happened on that street. Uh, my neighbor got hit in the head with a pipe by some man. Uh, my wife took her to the hospital. She's, I think she's there right now, but I, I did a quick sweep. I didn't see anyone with a, uh, driving around. I didn't see anyone with a pipe. Just, just want to point that out in case, you know. You did she, so your wife took this other person to the, the hospital? hospital? Yeah. Which hospital? I think they went to the close one, this one. Um, Tarzana? Tarzana? I think so, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, just, just to keep a lookout. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, how tall? I don't know. I don't know. He just came right up and just like out of nowhere. Totally unprovoked yeah. and yeah. just. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look for him on the way to the hospital. That, so that's what we're trying to figure out. Cause it, so that's why I wanted to know. So. I understand that. Alright. Uh, 93, and you're going to Tarzana? Yes, sir.
Shots fired, officer needs help. We're gonna be on Birmingham and Reseda at the Drop the pipe! Mav, drop the pipe! All right, ma'am, put your hands out. Put your hands out. Yeah. Ma'am, put your hands out. Show us your hands. Okay, guys, we need a... Yeah, okay, so you got a yeah. I'll, I'll stay uh, less lethal. You okay. want to stay lethal? Yeah, I'll be lethal. Hands on? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm okay. hands on. Come on. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. Don't move. Correction, Aaron. Correction, Aaron. Three attempting to respond to the help call. A portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's digital in car video. Most. Channel 60 is incident commander receiving the 101 overpass. Channel 80, Roger. Channel 80, Roger. we get additional units uh, for uh, crime scene over here? 2017, how many additional units do you need? 2017. After being taken into custody, the officers immediately requested a rescue ambulance and attempted life-saving measures on Brown by performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation, also known as CPR. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded shortly thereafter and transported Brown to a local hospital. While there, Brown did not respond to life-saving efforts by medical staff and was pronounced deceased. Investigators recovered a 15-inch metal bar for a dumbbell at scene and booked it as evidence. 